the country needs to invest in resources um, in, in the education of the kids from middle school to high school. I think if you catch students at that early stage, help them build strong analytical skills to be able to compete in the sciences and engineering, then they would be more inclined to, to continue that field of study into undergrads and, and hopefully do advanced degrees. The equipment that we have right now is state-of-the-art, cutting edge, and working with business and industry, uh, it's a win-win for both of us, and this is a huge way for South Central and Mankato to stay alive in manufacturing. Normandale is a Mencimi partner because uh, we're involved in teaching mathematics and physics. And we have a uh, offering of calculus in this department. Calculus forms the mathematical underpinning of uh, physics and therefore engineering. Well, our faculty wanted to put these courses in place. Mencimi was able to provide the funding to do that. With the hands-on experience that they're going to get, operating the equipment, programming it, controlling it, running the motors, they will know what is what the kind of work is that they're going to enter into in these companies. And the companies know that they have that background. The Minnesota Center for Engineering and Manufacturing Excellence is uniquely positioned in a pipeline between business and industry and education and training that connects higher skilled students and incumbent workers with jobs and careers in manufacturing and engineering. The businesses need the engineers, the technicians, the craftsmen that the schools are developing. By keeping the communication and the dialogue uh, closely tied together, we both win. They prepare their students better, their students when they come out are better prepared for us. The center is a statewide organization focused on working interactively with business and industry to assess trends, enhance curricula, provide student and faculty on-the-job experience, and to see that incumbent workers are equipped with higher skills in manufacturing and engineering. Rapid prototyping, an increasingly important pre-production engineering and manufacturing process, is also a very appropriate way to see how the center operates and provides value to our partners and clients. Typically, an idea is given multi-dimensions with the aid of CAD, or computer-aided design technology. This design is then transmitted to a 3D rapid prototyping machine where it is recreated as a fully functional product that looks and behaves like the CAD concept. This same kind of process is at work in the minds of students seeking to learn the skills and apply the knowledge that makes engineering and manufacturing possible. Along that learning path, or pipeline, it's all about knowledge, testing our skills, and solutions. You need solutions each day to be successful. What and where are the solutions that make sense for you? It used to be that you went to school and you got a degree in one of the three traditional engineering fields, mechanical, civil, or electrical. Well, now there's such a crossover of fields, and industry needs generalists. That's what their need has become. They need someone who can work across the boundaries of different disciplines. Uh, the college exists to serve the business and industries in our area, and therefore we try to be good listeners. Uh, each of our programs has uh, industry advisory committees and uh, we also engage in special events and occasional special marketing studies to understand better uh, what, the, uh, what changes are occurring in the industries we serve, as well as what emerging technologies are coming on the fore so that we can uh, prepare programs to, uh, to meet those needs. We have this panel view screen on one of our machines at work, and so I found this to be really relevant to what I could do at work after I had this training. I see industry and education uh, working as a team uh, so the uh, technology stays online and up to date. Uh, I think without it, uh, I think there's a lot of fallout with the uh, things that need to be taught to be successful in industry. It's time for educators, trainers and employers to collaborate to ensure that incumbent workers, new hires and future employees have access to the right knowledge, experience state-of-the-art equipment, real-time practice, 
and respected credentials and degrees. I look at the manufacturing floor as the laboratory where the academic theories can be truly tested out. Education has a major advantage compared to any individual company in that they may have access across multiple industries and to many companies' insights, and so they can take an objective look at it. Whereas in industry, we're facing a prob new problem every day, and so we have this creative drive, the necessity as the mother of invention, that keeps coming up with new problems and new ways of solving it. And when you pair those two abilities to bring problems across many different industries with the problems that are being created every day, you have a chance to develop the synergies that can create great solutions. The global marketplace has raised the bar. This higher bar can be cleared by partnering your needs and the center's resources. Minsimi colleges know how to clarify needs, innovate, educate, deliver training, conduct applied research, and implement technology. Blending the needs of industry with education's ever-improving engineering and manufacturing knowledge transfer through our two- and four-year educational programs is the solution for today and tomorrow.